Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine altcoins on most CPUs and GPUs. Even if your device is a bit older, this tutorial should work for you. It should be quick and easy. I'm just kind of showing you the easy way to go about this. There are other ways you can do it through like Zpool and Zerg Pool and other pools as well. But I figure unminable is the easiest way just to click a button and let it mine. Instead of trying to figure out what algorithm and such you need to focus on with your CPU or GPU, this just gives you a certain select ones you can choose from and it allows you just to mine a multiple majority of uh, altcoins here, even main coins as well, so like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and things like that. But what I'm focusing on is kind of like the altcoins because a lot of people always are curious, you know, I want to mine something different than Bitcoin and like Ethereum and things. Well, this site will allow you to mine multiple alternative coins as we call them, altcoins. So sit back, relax, and I'll show you how to do that very quickly and easy with Unminable here. Now I figured to choose this way just so we don't have to deep dive into figuring out which algorithm works best for your CPU or GPU. I might come out with a video on that so that way you guys can get like a more in-depth and better earnings per your CPU and such. But for today's video like I said we're just kind of going to focus on Unminable and their program to be used because it's simple one click one setup. Now I know there's a lot of people that are in favor of Unminable but a lot of people don't like Unminable because of all the additional fees. Because you're not directly mining these coins like you're not directly mining Shiba Inu, you're not directly mining ApeCoin and things like that. What you're doing is you're mining like um, Monero, uh, like XMR, Ravencoin, things like that, and it's converting over to that. Plus, Unminable takes a small fee as well. So you do lose out on a little bit of profits. But if you're looking for something simple and easy, just to click one button and leave it for a while and let it mine, this is kind of like the website and program that you will want to use. And along with most modern hardware, it also works with a lot of older hardware. I've seen people use it on older laptops. I've personally used it on older computers. I've used it on some older laptops as well. Mind you, it might not be as profitable, but if you have just if you have old parts laying around or old laptops or old computers just sitting around doing nothing that are like, you know, five years old or even older than that. Unminable should still work on there. Like I said, it just might not be as profitable. But like I said, it beats sitting there trying to figure out exactly what algorithm works for your CPU. This is just a quick and easy way to get up and going. So once you load up the Unminable website, it usually will redirect you to unminable.com slash coins. And it'll give you a whole list of coins here that you can choose from that you can debate to like mine or like convert to, I should say. Because like I said, you're not directly mining these. And most of them, for example, like Shiba Inu, there's different chains that you can work from. So uh, BEP20, ERC20, and KRC20. So all of them usually have different payout rates, just depending on the chains. We know, like, for example, ERC20 being Ethereum has higher fees and such, so you have to mine a higher amount. Where if you use like BEP20, it's going to use a lot lower fees and your payouts are going to be a lot lower because it's on like the Binance smart chain compared to like Ethereum chain. And we all know the fee difference there already. So if we scroll down, you see there's a whole selection. You have BitTorrent even, you have Digibyte, Dogecoin, Ethereum Classic, you have Decentraland, you have Ravencoin, you have a whole bunch that you could go on with. You have Tron, you have SafeMoon, you have Monero directly, Zcash ripple as well and you have like just random ones even too like baby doge apecoin avalanche you know newer ones and new ones are always being added so if you don't find the specific one maybe just wait a little bit or you can contact on mineable i believe and they will let you know if they are adding it because adding it um i believe they don't charge for listings so you could go ahead and just recommend it and then they might be able to add it themselves but like I said, we're kind of focusing on the altcoins. So just for this tutorial purpose, I'll just click on Shiba Inu. If you just want to go ahead and start mining that, for example. And as you see right at the top, this all might look overwhelming at first. But trust me, it's easy to understand. So up top here, you have your different algorithms. For graphics cards, you have ET hash, which is obviously Ethereum. So if you have a high-end graphics card, like 6 gigs or higher, you can mine Ethereum. And that will convert over to whichever coin that you do want to mine on this website. There's also ETC hash, which is Ethereum Classic. So if you have graphics cards that are three gigs or more, 
you're able to mine uh, Ethereum Classic and convert it over to whichever altcoin on here that you do choose. So it gives you a different variety of options. And you also have Kapow if you have 4 gigabyte or higher. It does say on here 3 gigabytes, but it's not updated. Kapow is actually 4 gigabytes and higher for graphics cards. So you do have a different few ranges for graphics card mining. So if you do have a lower end like 3 gigabyte one or 4 gigabyte one. You can use ETC hash and Kapow. Unfortunately, there's nothing for 2 gigabytes or anything yet. I don't believe they will be adding any of like 2 gigabyte algorithms because that just wouldn't be too profitable in the long run after the conversions and things like that. And then for the last one, you have CPU mining, which is RandomX, which is Monero. So if you do even have an older CPU, you can mine Monero because Monero is meant for uh, older CPUs, newer CPUs, moderate CPUs, you know, things like that. So it gives you a wide range of availability for mining. Even with like lower end graphics cards, I say lower end as in 3 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, and then lower end CPUs as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't say like how far back you can mine with these, but I can personally tell you that I've mined on like dual cores and things like that with RandomX. So obviously you can mine with older CPUs. And that was just for testing purposes. Obviously, like it's not going to be super profitable, but like I said, if you have a bunch of old computers just collecting dust or laptops and things like that, you can go ahead and fire it up and see if it's worth it depending on your hydro rate. So each one, when you click on it, it's going to give you your payout amount for each chain. So Ethereum chain is obviously going to be your highest amount because of gas fees and things like that. So when you do hit this amount, um, unminable will take a certain, like a certain percentage from it. But then also you have like Ethereum fees and things like that, where if you go with like BSC chain, which is Binance, you're going to have like low fees and it takes a lower amount to actually mine up to. So if you already know kind of like what your uh, power is for like, let's say CPU mining, like for example, I already do like, uh, for example, mine's 1300 hashes. So as you see, it's not a crazy amount I would be getting per day. But if I put something to use, like an old laptop or a server or things like that, and you just leave it running, it could build up over time. And like I said, all depending on your hydro rates and things like that. But you can always calculate that afterwards once you get the program up and running. So if we just close that out. So if you scroll down, you're going to see all this information. This is really not relevant to you unless you are using a separate miner. But like I said, you can't, I'm focusing on using the program to make this simple and easy. So once you determine what coin you want to use and what algorithm you want to use, you want to click on this download button and it should bring you to the download page here. And this is going to be their mining software. And this is where it's going to make things a lot easier for you if you're new to mining or just don't like the hassle of setting up a miner. So you're going to see two different versions here, the MFI version and the base version. I recommend getting the MFI version because it comes with all the miners included where the base version you have to uh, download the miner separately. So before you download it, like whichever version here, you just want to come over to start menu and click settings. And then once you click settings, you want to click update and security. And once that loads up, you want to go down to Windows security here. And what you want to do is virus and threat protection. And what you actually want to do is click on manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. You just want to turn real time protection off for now and then click yes on this pop up. And now you might be wondering why you're doing that because for whatever reason, um, unminable picks up as like a virus because it has multiple miners in it. So you just have to turn that off for now until you get it downloaded and saved. So what you want to do once you decide which version you want to get, like I said, I highly recommend the MFI version because it comes set up and you're ready to go that way. You right click on it and then click save link as. You don't directly like left click on it, you right click and click save link as. And this should open up here and then you just click save. And then that's going to download the unminable miner for yourself there. As you see in most of my other videos too, sometimes miners and such get picked up because they're just not, uh, I forget what it's called, they're just not signed like programs. So obviously they're going to get like picked up from the software itself. So once you have it downloaded, you click on wherever you downloaded it. You just want to click right click, go to 7-zip or whatever extraction tool. And you just want to click extract to and then the folder name which is unminable. And then you can come back to your settings here 
You just want to scroll down and click Add or Remove Exclusions. Click Yes when that window pops up. Add an exclusion, add folder. And then you go here and you go to Downloads or wherever you saved it. Double click the Unmindable folder and click Select Folder. And this will add it as an exclusion so that way it doesn't get nicked as a virus. And what you can do is click Back, go back up and turn your protection back on. And that way you still have your real-time protection and then Unmindable is bypassed through the firewall or security, the virus and threat protection. Just like you've seen in my other videos we've had to do with other miners. This is nothing new, don't worry, you won't actually get a virus. It's just to do with the unsigned publishers. So once you do have it installed, and or not installed, but once you have it downloaded and, and then all the security settings done here, you just want to open up on Mineable, and then you want to open up the beta here. And then it's going to give you uh, in installation choices, so I'll just install it for me. And you just click install. And then let it install. And then once that's done, the program should be ready to go. You may have to allow it through the firewall, or sorry, you may have to allow it through the virus and threat protection through the actual like C drive. So if we click finish. So once you do have it installed after you went through that installation process, you want to keep this one selected, but you click add an exclusion, click add folder. Then what you want to do is go to your C drive, go down, go to users, and then whatever yours is here and then you click app data and then you go local and then you scroll down I believe until it's programs yeah down here where it says programs and then unminable should be right here so you double click on mineable and then you click select folder and this will allow the actual program since you did install it to be bypassed through the virus and threat protection that way you get no pop-ups because like I've said before it's all unverified publishers quote unquote when it comes to miners and that's what I've said in the past, even with NiceHash and stuff, they removed ones that didn't want to be a verified publisher, but that removes the purpose of being anonymous and stuff because once you verify a mining software, you kind of have to give up a little more information about like yourself or the mining program itself. So just make sure you have both of those selected as an exclusion and you should be good to go. Get the unminable, we'll open it up here. And as you see, it opens up and it shouldn't have any issue with like the virus and threat protection because you've already bypassed it. So what you want to do is once it's open here, you can change it to like a dark theme or light theme, whichever you prefer. I'll just throw on a dark theme. You click continue. And then here's your choices for whichever uh, mining hardware you do want to use. So if you want to use a CPU, like I've said, with older CPUs, this will work. Or you can use a GPU and then you can select your mining software. And then you can go ahead and change like the algorithm down here. So for example, if you're doing GPU, but you don't have like six gigs of RAM, you click change settings. And then you can choose between ETC hash and ET hash. Unfortunately, it doesn't look, look like they have Kapow uh, set up on it. So they don't have Ravencoin. So really, you only have the choice of ETC hash and ET hash, which are both Ethereum ones. And then you could set your mining intensity to low, high, or custom, depending on your power usage, of course. So if you do have higher power rates, you can set a custom amount of power it uses, or you can set it on low or high, or whichever, depending, like I said, on your hydro rate. And that's all I really usually focus on is the high or low here. But for example, we'll do CPU. And then you can click change settings here for CPU as well. And then you can set your intensity. Obviously, they just do Monero XM rig and stuff like I've been saying. So you choose low, high, or custom for your power settings. You click next. And then this is going to be where you fill out your information. So like I said, if you wanted to do like Shiba coin or Shiba Inu, you click on that. And then you enter right here your Shiba Inu address. And then you'll click on start and it'll start up mining. So I have my Shiba Inu address here and we'll paste it. So my address is compatible with ETH, BSC, KCC networks. You may later switch to payment networks on the website, and I'll show you how to do that quickly. And all you do is click start. I won't run this long. Hopefully there's no lag or anything. Like I said, I'm not supposed to be mining or anything. But once you start it up, as you see, I've already mined on uh, doing this a few times. I've had a few payouts and such when I lived over at my apartment. But you let this run for a bit, and you'll get your hash rates, and things will kick in. And if you ever want to change like how much power consumption you're using, you click the little gear and you could change that on the fly here. 
So as you see, once you are mining, I'm just going to stop mine just for sake of use here because like I said, I'm not supposed to be mining here. So I'll just click stop. But then you can go back over to the website, go back to Shiba Inu, and then you can post your address right in here. It's going to be the box right there. And that's going to bring you to where you've been mining. And then it's going to, sh it should bring up like your worker and such once you have accepted shares. But this is where you can switch your network for payouts. So personally, I've used the BEP20 because it's just lower payouts. It's easier to use compared to like Ethereum and the gas fees and things like that. So all you do is click on use and that's going to switch up your network depending on whichever one you do want to use. Nothing wrong with using the uh, ERC20 one. I just recommend uh, the BEP20 because of low payouts and low fees. But yeah, that's pretty well lit. I Hopefully I didn't make this too confusing for you guys or anything. Like I said, the program itself is pretty straightforward. Once you do get it up and running, you just select whichever one you want to use. Click next, select your token or coin, put your address in and click start and you'll be mining right away. And like I said, it works on older uh, laptops and computers. Like I said, with the CPU, I've used it on dual cords even and such. Yeah, you might not get crazy profits, but if you have a bunch of them and you just throw them on like a low power consumption, it may work out for you in the end. But I hope this brought some new information to you, a little more in depth. Like I said, I always go a little more in depth because I like explaining things thoroughly and showing you guys all the little tricks and stuff like that. But in the coming time, I will release like a more uh, in-depth mining tutorial on CPU and GPU mining. If you want specific algorithms, like I said, using ZPool, ZergPool, so that way you can run better profits and figure out which ones are best for you. This is just a cl uh, easy click and start mining software. You click start and you leave it. You don't have to run through like actually setting up uh, the program itself, the CMD command files or the batch files or command lines, things like that. This is just a simple way to do it and go about it. Like I said, some people might not like on Mineable, but it's just a simple and easy way to go about this. But if this did help you out in any way or you did learn something from it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know that these videos are helping you or you're enjoying them yourself. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.